welcome back to my youtube channel so today looking at something very simple that is the suitability map it is a map that's used in spatial planning and gis to show how appropriate different areas of lands are for a particular use or activity basically it tells you which locations are most suitable moderately suitable or unsuitable for something based on giving criteria examples you have been down here is identifying suitable areas for schools hospitals or housing selecting sites for waste disposal while avoiding water bodies and settlement mapping suitable corridors for roads and pipelines these are some of the examples of stability maps so here we're using this example below here to um to aid our practicals let's read it so there's a new variety of cashew that is about to be introduced that variety grows best in areas that have the moist semi deciduous forest type of vegetation annual mean temperature of 25 to 27 degrees celsius and an elevation of 100 to 300 meters above sea level based on this information do the following a using the appropriate overlay and extraction tools delineate areas in ghana where the new variety of cashew can best be grown b prepare a map of ghana showing the ideal zone you have delineated all the streets that intersect or fall within this delineated zone and all the elements of a good map lastly calculate the total land area in square kilometers of the delineated zone so let's start let's open our archives okay so this is my archives interface that i've opened here as you can see it here so let's quickly go through how you'll be able to start the exercise so first of all we would want to add uh, data so let's go to our data here and then we browse through to where our data is so i'll connect to the folder that is this folder okay so the assignments the size demands the ghana elevation so you click it and you hold the control key on the keyboard select the elevation the vegetation temperature and the district then go to add so they all appear here so the next thing is you want to select the the, the the next thing is you want to select the moist semi deciduous forest zone that is the vegetation so you go to selection select by attributes you go to vegetation and then you come here enter the query then you go to verify it okay so it's selected here you right click on it selections create layer from selected features you have it created you can turn this one off so this is the moist semi deciduous for you zone moving on you don't select the temperature zones so you right click on it and go to the actual table of it double click on this to rearrange it and then you select the 25 all the way 27 and then you have it down here four out of 13 selected you close it right click on it selection create layer from selected features you have it here and then you would want to intersect the two so you go to your processing intersect then we drag this here drag this to here go to ok so we see it intersecting down here 
so it's done and then these two off see the final out with this intersection of the temperature as well as the vegetation so you don't want to convert this elevation into a polygon it's a raster so you come here the search here then we type in here raster to polygon then enter so it comes here we click on this and then in the raster we input this elevation here and then we click on ok so we see it running down here done you have it showing here so you don't want to clip it to this zone so we come to the issue processing and then we um, we clip it so you clip this raster to this temperature and go to ok so you see it clipping down here Okay, so it's done. Turn this one off. All right, so you're having it showing here. All right, so we don't want to select the 100 to 300 meter elevation. So we come to selections by attributes and then we choose the raster clip the new one and then we go to the we type in the query that is there um, the grid code that um, is greater than or equal to 100 100 and the grid code that is less than or you go to 300 verify okay then you go to okay so it selects them out of it then you right click on it selections and then you create a new layer from this selected feature so you can now turn this one off so you're having this selected here so here you would want to intersect this new raster to the already existing temperature that is the um, the intersections we did earlier for the temperature and the elevation and the sorry vegetation so you come to two process and again intersect and then we'd want to intersect this and this go to okay that would get rid of these parts from the map all right so it's done here so now you can turn this one off and this one to off and we have our final product our final output sorry just our final output but the question demands to know the exact district where this area falls in right so we want to um, clip the district to this area to see the kind of district this area falls in so we go to your processing then we clip the district to this new raster go to ok So it's done. So it has clicked the district to the area. So you can see the district this um, area fall in. So you can see the district here. 
Can even see the KMA down here. Right. Can see some portion of um, Central East districts here, among others. So these are the districts where um, the new cashew plants is suitable to be planted or grown. So these areas are all suitable areas. That is, they are um, they fall in the temperature zone. They also fall in the vegetation zone, and they also fall in the elevation zone. But those that is not selected, that is these places here, do you not fall in the temperature zone, nor elevation, nor vegetation. So after having this, you can zoom into layer to see the final output clearly, nicely drawn like this. The question demands to know the area of this, sorry, the area of this um, zone. So you don't want to move here, this polygon, right click on it, go to adjust the below it. And then we add a field that is we call it the area and we choose double then go to okay so it it appears here and then we right click it and then we go to calculate geometry click on yes we choose the kilometer square since the question asked as as of the unit in kilometer square right go to okay choose yes so it brings up this and they want to see the total right so you right click on the areas statistics and it presents to us the summation of the various polygons that fall in this area so these polygons all sum up to 47,320.85 um, kilometer square so this is the final art which you should be getting for the area so now you don't want to decorate your map to look very nice as a cartographer so you don't want to go to the layout view here since you are done the map then you can um, show the Ghana district then you zoom into layer here seeing everything clearly like this you don't want to you would want to separate the colors the nice colors that is for you to design the maps so you can come here select color you wish for okay so i select this one and that is it and i come here to insert my enough arrows my enough arrows okay then insert my scale bar okay then I insert my legend having a shift file for the Ghana C you would want to show the Ghana C also so I'm having the Ghana C here so I would want to show the C as well all right so it's such a very nice map it can be seen here you can now rename this by slowly clicking them two times one two and i can name it as the ideal daily needed zone so it changes here you can see the effects and then i can name this being the sorry be in the adjoining these streets so I can also change this to C or the Gulf of Guinea all right so 
this is the final product showing the delineated zones clearly so perhaps you want to have a nice look at it it's completion you can come to file and then print preview here which presents you the final output of the map how it look like so this is it if you want to change the font for this select it and then you come here and select your fonts here all right so that's this brings us to the end of the assignments very simple thing to do thank you please at this point if you enjoyed the video please subscribe like and share thank you